Hey everybody, my name is Jamie. We're going to start on part 12 of our tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we're going to uh, we're going to make it a little bit more efficient and we're only going to render the tiles that are currently being shown on the screen. So one thing I'm going to do first before we actually start that, I don't know if you can notice this, but our character is actually a little bit off to the right and a little bit down from the center of the screen. And this isn't as noticeable with a little character, but when we get into a bigger character, you would really be able to notice that. So one thing that we want to do is we want to go into our game camera real quick and where we have our Y offset and, and all of that there, let's also subtract from it E dot get width for the X divided by two. So we're, re we're going to subtract half of the character's width and uh, and then we're going to do the same thing for the height actually we're not going to subtract it we're going to add it add it to there and that will hopefully center our character a little bit better get okay. height divided by two all right and one thing that we have to do I forgot um, I forgot to add something so in our creature class we have a static uh, val a variable called default creature underscore width okay just like that and this will make a big difference because what we're doing is setting a undefined value to our width when we do it like this so now when we get the width it'll actually be it'll actually have a value um, just a moment ago I tried it and it didn't work because we didn't have a value there so now that that's set um, I'm going to see what we have. All right, here we go. So let's see, that looks a little bit better to me. It looks a little bit more center. So now we can move on and let's try to do the, uh, the tedious task of figuring out which tiles to render and which not to. So before we go on too much here, I'm going to open up our world, which is just the world file we have in our resources. And I'm going to take all of this, copy it, paste it down. So, and I will remove these and set these to zeros. Oops. Let's do it like so. Actually, I'll copy from here to there. All right. And set these to zeros. Oh. All right. And at the bottom, I will put all twos just so we have it something that's framed off and what I'm trying to do is create a map that's just a little bit bigger so that we have something a, uh, a little larger to render so now that we have this we can come here and I'm gonna alt click and come all the way down to the bottom and I'll start at this row the second row and I'm going to put some more zeros in and same thing with our twos down here and the twos up is here so you can make yours however big you want. I'm just going to make it this big. So I will count. And this is 40 by 30 is how I have it. So uh, actually it's 30 by 40. So I'll come here and I'll say 30 space 40. And now we've got a bigger map here. And if I refresh this page, we should have a much bigger map. So if I go yeah we've got a lot bigger map here 
So now, now that we've got the bigger map, let's uh, let's start optimizing this a little bit. So if we go into our world class, so let me close down some of these. We'll go to our world class. And all the stuff that we're going to do is going to be in this render here. So let's get started. We're going to have some variables that we create inside of here. So we'll have a x start variable. That's going to be equal to parse int. So I parse these as integers just to make sure our values are integers. So we're going to try to figure out what the max of two numbers are. So we'll have the first one zero, and the next one is this this dot handler dot get game camera dot get x offset divided by tile dot tile width all right let's see so what we're trying to figure out is if the offset divided by the um, the tile width is greater than zero or not if it's greater than zero then we're going to have the start X um, be equal to this number so we divide it by tile width so that we actually get um, the current offset in tiles not in pixels so this returns this returns the offset in pixels where this one returns the offset uh, when we divide it in tiles so we're going to see if 0 is less than uh, or is greater than the uh, current offset then we'll, we'll, we'll know that 0 is our starting position whereas if it's greater than 0 then wherever uh, whatever tile uh, we are in the X that is where we will start drawing okay so now that that's done we can say Y start or actually we'll say X end because we'll have a start and an end and this we will parse as an integer as well and this is going to be math dot min so we're gonna get the lowest of them and it's going to be uh, this dot width so we'll see if this dot width is lower or less than and we will say handler dot get game camera dot get x offset plus handler or this dot handler is y where so this dot handler plus this dot handler dot get width so we'll get the width of this the whole thing divided by tile dot tile width all right so this won't this shouldn't actually be perfect there will be one thing that we have to do to it but without uh, I'm not going to do it quite yet because uh, I want us to see uh, that it's actually working so I will make sure we are closing this correctly it's got two one, two, three, two, three, yeah, so we will, this should be closing correctly. It's not showing me this close, but that should be fine. Then the next thing we want to do is basically the same thing for the height to the point where I'm actually going to duplicate this. And we'll say Y start and Y end. And we will do the maximum of zero, but we will be doing uh, get 
it would be the y offset and that will be that will be all for uh, the y start and then we will do the y end which will be the same thing but with uh, y offset and height so y offset and height All right, so what these are doing is basically we're just going to figure out, um, we're going to get the max and the min so that we know to default to these things. So when we're getting the end, the minimum for the end is going to be the width of, um, of our world. So we at least want to be rendering that <clears throat> if it is the lower of the numbers. Um, so that if we go over, if we go over the, what the width is, we don't have a number that's outside of the range and we get errors. That's why we have these min and maxes here. So now we can actually replace these with y start and y end. Same thing with the x. x is equal to x start and if it's less than uh, X end <clears throat> all right so this should look a little funny um, as we're going but that's on purpose so that we can see that it's actually working so again we're using the math max and min so that we um, get values that are within the range of what we actually have tiles so we if we only have a 20 by 20 world and we are way off to the right outside of the world the um we're not going to try to render a tile that is outside of you know the world's uh maximum tile so let's just take a look and see what we have going here all right so i'm going to move over to the right and as you look at the right we've got some flickering I'm going to fix that soon, but this just lets us know that it's actually it's actually creating tiles there. Same thing with the bottom. Now the top looks fine and the right looks fine. Uh, sorry, the left looks fine. But this kind of shows you that we are creating the tile, or we are only rendering what's within our view. So all we have to do to alleviate that little flickering is add one to our ends so if we take and add one to the X end so plus one here and the same thing for our Y end plus one now we should have smooth smooth movement you won't be able to tell there we go so you can't tell, but we're actually only rendering what we're, what's within our view. So this goes a long way. This goes a long way in making our uh, our game run more efficiently. So I think I may have my world file off by one. Uh, one in the Y because I'm not seeing this block down here so I'm actually getting it, it cut off let me take a, another look so if we come to the bottom I must not have rendered that uh, I must not have put that in there so let me see what happens if I say 41 in the Y And we come all the way down. No, he's still quite a bit off. Not sure exactly why I'm not getting that last tile there. But as you can see, this is going to go a long way for sure. 
and making our game run a lot faster. So whatever the problem is with the world, that's something that uh, I need to probably take care of in the uh, world that I'm creating. So um, if not, I'll post that fix in the next video. But <clears throat> from now on, we can move our character around a map that we create, we play around with, we can tweak. So I can create a long line of stone in the middle here and I'll create all stone here there we go save this and let's see if we can find it in our map there we are here's some stone so if we look If I go back to my world file, it looks like I'm only rendering to here. Whoa, that was 422. You know what? I think I know the problem. This is a simple problem. If I come to the world class and go down to here, the Y end needs to be height, not width. And we'll just make this tile height here because that's supposed to be the height. Anything with the Y will do height there. All right, so now that that is done, I can go back to my world and this should have alleviated my problem. So we'll say, 40 again save this and that should be the fix I don't know why I didn't change that to height so let's go down our map there's the end and there's the end there woohoo so this is working great um so that's working good here let's um take care of a few problems in the next video um that we ha that we have with the camera I'm going to fix it so that uh, we don't get all this white space over here. All right. And then after that, we'll probably work on collisions. I'll see you guys in the next video.